All right, guys, this is Nifty and daily chart. As we discussed earlier, the Nifty is running in a range. So this is the actual market range. Uh, here I can see one five. Uh, let's say four zero. This is the upper boundary and the lower boundary one uh, four. Let's say five hundred. So this is the lower boundary. So we have seen price last a few days from this area. Uh, price are running in between these rings. So basically we use a uh, put sell and we are expecting that price will expire above this uh, area around 1, 3, I think 700 somewhere there, right? Somewhere there. Okay. So most of the people are using here iron condor. So you can use that iron condor strategy also. All right. But uh, right now we have seen or we can say today right just open neck uh, here in this area near uh, 20 moving average and again drop and uh, here i can see later here i can see, see price just push up again so i'm not expecting that price will break this lower boundary all right and we are focusing on to create a strategy if price close in between these rings, uh, definitely will collect the premium. And if you now see a bank nifty, so here you can see this is the bank nifty also running a sideway. And uh, today, price hit the moving average 50, that 150 exponential moving average. So we are expecting that price will create a new high uh, very soon. And if you now see previous market behavior, price are bouncing off 20 moving average and here you can see this one uh, resistance line now it's as a support i'm basically focusing on if price give a correction to this level now i can say somewhere there and i'm looking for buy and in that case i'll use bullish synthetic uh, call right somewhere there so we are expecting the price will continue from this area so let's see some uh, top gainer stocks uh, here you can see this one first one jsw okay let's go to here jsw still and uh, now you can see price are bouncing off 50 moving average have you seen the bouncing of 50 moving average and somewhere there okay if you're not seeing a large time then so most of the people are thinking hey can i go for buy somewhere there but i'm not interested i need a pullback always i'm looking for a pullback and if you're not buy somewhere there let's see here in the large time frame is it there any resistance line so let's jump to weekly chart or monthly chart now i can see monthly chart uh, that that is a strong resistance somewhere there okay have you seen that was a resistance line uh, that is a resistance now but uh, here you can see previous according to previous market uh, behavior that was a support now it's becoming a resistance uh, i can say four well, let's say 500 round figure that is a 500 uh, that is a strong resistance line so if you know that position like daily time frame here you can see uh, price are a little more far from the resistance line so we're expecting that price will hit this level but remember price never goes like that and we're expecting price will go like that like that like that okay so if you're not seeing a small time frame for intraday there is a 15 minute time frame and they are bouncing off specific moving average creating new high and pull back so that will be our buy opportunity all right okay and the next one tech mahindra tech mahindra this one all right this is 15 minute time frame so here i can see let's see in a large time frame price just broke this raised 10 line somewhere there that that was the raised 10 line okay just a minute that was a raised 10 line and the price broke 
this diagonal raised thin line somewhere there. Because we connected this two swing point and finally broke and we expect in the price will create a new high uh, to this level. Let me draw a horizontal line somewhere there because I can see if you want to see previous market behavior price tested this area okay. So we are expecting after breaking this resistance line price will hit this level of uh, 1081.080. That is a resistance line somewhere there. Mm, let's see the small time frame. Like 5 minute, 15 minute, whatever uh, time frame you are using for intraday. And I can see they are bouncing up like that, like that, like that. So we need a pullback. We need a pullback. We need a pullback like that. And another one. Let's see another one. Tata uh, Steel. Okay, Tata is still this one, Tata is still. Alright, they are creating new high. Let's go to daily time frame. Okay, here I can see they are bouncing up uh, 50 and 20 moving average. 50 and 20, 50 and 20 now. Exactly price near 20 moving average. So we can go for buy. And if you want to see, according to price behavior, price are creating new higher high and the higher low. But uh, here you can see some divergence are showing, but uh, at least we are expecting as a, uh, as a intraday trader, price definitely hit this previous high point. Okay. And another one, mm, power grid. Okay, this one power grid. Okay, power grid here you can see perfect uh, entry point we have seen. Uh, price are creating higher high, higher low, higher high, the higher low. So we are expecting the price will create a new higher high. And if you want to see RSI, uh, they are creating higher high. So we are expecting the price will create a new high. Let's see, is it there any resistance line in a large time frame? So let me know this one. Yeah, no resistance are there. Okay, so finally here you can see that is a resistance line. So and but here you can see monthly candle it's a huge bullish momentum candle so definitely we are expecting the price will create a new high it will break this resistance line and the recent resistance line you can see here price broke this recent resistance line that was a resistance line and we are expecting the price will create a new high okay now let's see another stock uh, sorry stop uh, in the same bank let's go to in the same bank okay this one and basically we are focusing IT sector and banking sector okay this is a raised line let me remove this one let me remove this one okay weekly chart uh, price near 200 exponential moving average and they are forming multiple dozy pattern somewhere there you see that is, uh, there is 200 exponential moving average somewhere there and here you can see 200 exponential moving average also but i'm not interested to take any position right now if price break this 200 exponential moving average so definitely we'll go for buy okay or it is a probability to pull back again if price break this resistance line, so definitely we'll go for buy. So that is why we must wait to break this uh, resistance line. Okay. Mm, let's see another HCL tech last one. HCL tech. Okay. Now you can see HCL tech. Yeah. This is also perfect. Uh, anti point somewhere there here you can see price broke this resistance line recent uh, resistance line that one resistance resistance now it's becoming a support all right so after breaking this resistance line so somewhere there after breaking this resistance line we have seen pullback so basically it happened suppose this one a uh, resistance line okay so when price broke this resistance line and again price give a pullback 
and that is our perfect buy opportunity and we are anticipating that price will go up okay so similarly here you can see price broke this resistance line pull back and we have seen some bullish momentum candle and you can see a small time frame like 15 minute okay upper is are creating a new higher high pull back support uh, 200 moving average act as a support so finally broke even a correction so we are expecting the price will go so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video uh, please like like and subscribe and if you now open an account so we have mentioned uh, link below and if you want to read more about the market you just go to our uh, blog page uh, we mentioned already below this description so thanks for watching